Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys probably one of the best 1v1 maps that I've ever made and I'm super proud of how this came out. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys the Flea 1v1 map. But yeah, before we get into the video, if you guys could do me a huge favor by hitting that like button, it would mean a ton. I spent a lot of time on these videos and maps, so just clicking that button, which takes literally only two seconds, would help me out so much. So if you guys do that, you guys are a complete beast. Thank you guys so much. Also, I'm almost at 100k. I'm at 80k right now, so if you guys could, you know, click that sub button, that would actually be perfect. You guys are the best. I'm almost there to 100k, so I'm on the grind right now. So hitting that sub button as well would be super appreciated. But yeah, with that all set aside, let's get started with the showcase. Alright, so this is the map, and I honestly don't know what to say about it, but it is super freaking clean. I just love the whole design of it. Like, I, I didn't even put too much detail into it. I tried to put as many detail while keeping it super clean, but I honestly, I don't know. I just love the look of it. Like I said, it is probably one of my best maps, and I honestly think it's my favorite. But yeah, with my opinion set to the side, let's actually start talking about the map. Alright, so if you guys don't know who Flea is, you guys, I don't, I don't know what you're doing right now. Just please, if you don't know who Flea is, search him up right now. He is at 1 mil. He actually just hit 1 mil, so, you know, go give him a sub, because he is a really good YouTuber, trust me. But if you couldn't tell yet from the map, this is obviously Flea's logo, or the outline of the logo. Now, like I said, I try making it as clean as possible, so I, of course, added LEDs on the side, because, bro, like, what, what's a Flea 1v1 map without LEDs? So, you know, you got you gotta stick to the theme. Now, these look best with effects turned on, or effects turned to high or epic. They look so sick, but they also look good with it off. Some people like it on, some people like it off, so you guys can just experiment, find whatever is nicest for you. But it doesn't matter, when you're 1v1ing, you're gonna be in the sky anyways, you're not even gonna be looking at the map. But just saying, if you guys wanna see this in the best possible, I recommend turning shadows or effects on, because it, it looks insane. Alright, moving on to the next part, uh, if you guys have seen my videos or my 1v1 maps, you guys obviously know that I put outline glows and max height and low ground teleporters, so if you guys do at max height, you will simply just be teleported back to spawn, and of course, if you fall too far from the map or fall in the water, you will be teleported back to spawn. This just makes life so much easier, so you don't have to walk back to spawn, or you don't have to jump off your builds when you hit max height, you know, boom, teleported, done, you know, that easy. But yeah, back to the glows, if you guys want to use these, you know, you literally just walk Walk onto them. I have outline and body orbs, so you just walk onto them and you can disable the effect by pressing square or whatever button Xbox controllers. I don't even know what button they use. You know, just press that button, whatever it tells you. Also, a really cool feature that I added in was the coin drop. I rarely see this in montages or just maps in general. Like, no one uses this coin drop effect, but if you are new to the 1v1 map making, whatever community, I guess, uh, just trust me, this looks so sick. If you want to make your clips look nice, add this to your map. I might make a tutorial on it, but I'm pretty sure there's other tutorials you can watch on YouTube. But this looks so good. Trust me, like, once you get a kill, the sound satisfaction of that coin dropping it just oh the sound is so good so trust me so yeah that's just an added feature that i added to this map because not many people use it and it's really cool so if you want to bring your montages to the next level try this out i honestly can't think of anything else to say about this map the looks are absolutely clean you could honestly use it with any skin because it is gray and white you know not everything goes well with gray and white so you know so be creative you know use whatever skin you want because you know this map it fits for anything but also as you saw in the title i did promise that I was going to be showing you guys a time lapse or speed build. So I'm going to be showing you guys a quick little speed build so you guys could see what I did in the making of this map to make it how it is. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say before we get into the speed build. I honestly don't know what else to say. And I want you guys to try this out for yourselves because I'm super proud of this map and how it came out. So trying it out would mean so much to me. But yeah, that's enough for me to say in this video. And let's get started with how I made this map slash speed build. Alright, so how I started out with the map is I decided to make it in a grid island because it is so much easier to shape a logo and make a logo because you have grids helping you out. Now, this process took around two to three hours and most of it was fixing and I had to do lots of deleting and moving around so it took quite a bit of time. But once I was done shaping it, I was happy to see how it turned out. Alright, so next up, I decided to put it onto a Kevin floating island just to have that water background because it's better than the grid island, you don't want a grid as a background. So I had to select the whole logo and simply just copy it onto the other island. So this didn't take too long, it probably took around 20 minutes just to get it perfectly.
Alright, so this next part took the most time out of making this whole map, and that was simply just adding LEDs. Now, reason behind that is because I had to make sure each LED was evenly spaced from the edge of the logo, so just doing that took so much time, and it was around three and a half hours. So, yeah, a lot of work and a lot of time, but it was all worth it in the end. Alright, so once I was done putting the LEDs on top of the logo, I decided to put some more and put them on the side of the logo. This one actually surprisingly didn't take too long and I actually spent less than an hour doing this, so it was definitely worth its time. Now I felt like the map wasn't complete without putting his name into it. I then went to Grid Island again and started shaping out the letters in his name. Now to get the text perfectly how it is, I actually followed a font called Gotham and put it into Photoshop and literally just copied it into Fortnite with the LED lights. So yeah, that's a little tip if you guys want to make perfect words or letters. 